All right. Hello, everybody. I want to welcome everybody to uh, Commerce Mortgage's Real Pro Features webinar. My name is Koi Peltz, and I'm the Director of Development for Real Pro. And I also have Lori Flores, the Marketing Manager for Commerce Mortgage, on the webinar as well. So if, if you guys have any questions throughout the webinar, um, please type them in the question box, and Lori will view the questions, and she'll advise me when a question comes in um, from the audience. And the reason we mute everybody is because uh, typically, you know, sometimes if there's a lot of background noise and it, uh, you know, it just keeps, you know, with all the background noise, it's kind of tough for everybody to hear. So we, that's why we mute everybody. And uh, if there's an individual question for a conversation, we can unmute that individual person if we need to. So we hold three Real Pro webinars every month. Um, we have Real Pro Basics, Real Pro Features, and How to Make Money with Real Pro. Today, you guys are on the Real Pro Features webinar, also referred to as Real Pro 201. Um, and this webinar will review most of the features of Real Pro, and uh, we're actually going to, uh, to talk about several other features that will be uh, active next month. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Typically, on the, uh, the, the basics of Real Pro, we typically go over on how to sign up a real estate agent's account. And uh, you know and how to add their first listing, but today we're going to go you know a little more into some of the other features that Real Pro has, and uh, you know so I'm going to I'm logged in right now as one of our test agents, and I'm going to uh, take a look at this agent's active listing. So the active listings icon displays all of the listings that are either active or they have been entered as a draft mode. And let's go ahead and open this up here. And as you can see here, we have two active listings, and the rest of these are drafts. What a draft, when a property is in draft mode, what it means is that the property hasn't been activated. It maybe we've started to enter the listing, but we just haven't completed it yet. So if we wanted to come back and complete, say, this listing, we would click on the address, and then we could come click the Edit button. And then with the Edit button, we could scroll down through and enter in whatever information is missing or whatever else we would like to do, you know, type in the description, things like that, and then we would click active and then save, and that would make it a live listing, which I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, the new the square footage is required, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And then the description is required. So if I come down here and press save, we can tell that it's active now because we see the view listing website. So we've basically just created the website for this particular property. But what I'm going to go and also, you know, if, if you want to edit your active properties, um, there are several features that we don't really touch on in the Real Pro Basics. And I want to show you guys that here. When you click on an active property, you have a lot more options. Um, you know, of different actions and different things that you can do with this property. So I'm going to start off with Craigslist. Um, if you guys haven't marketed on Craigslist before, I highly encourage you guys to. Um, I would say that uh, we get a ton of responses from agents who market on Craigslist, and they actually probably get more phone calls than anybody else. So if you wanted to post on Craigslist, what you would need to do is you would have to have a Craigslist account. Um, now, there are a lot of instructions out there on how to get Craigslist accounts, so I'm actually not going to go over that today. But if you already have one, what you would do is you would go to craigslist.com, and then you would click on My Account, and then you would click on New Posting. So since I'm sitting here in Cincinnati, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post a new listing in Cincinnati. And we're going to go ahead and go for sale, and then we're going to scroll down, maybe we need to, hold on,
We're going to do housing offered. And we're going to do real estate by broker. And here we can enter in the price. We do have to enter in a few fields here. So we're going to go ahead and enter in a price of the property. And four bedrooms, two baths. House, 3,000 square feet. And this is where you can do a posting title. You can talk about, uh, you know, great. Four bedroom bath or value. And then here's where you'll type in the posting description. What we do here, instead of typing out a description and being able to have to add it all add all of your photos and things like that, we can go to the real pro site that we have open and we can copy the HTML right here in Craigslist and we can paste it right here and because we paste it that will allow us to see a professional looking Craigslist posting and if you want to show a map of the property and where it is you can actually show a map and you can enter in the uh, the address here if you don't want to it's not a big deal and uh, then you would click continue And we don't need to add images because we've already done that by posting the HTML that we've given you into the description. And this actually shows us what our ad will look like. So you can see here it's giving us a preview before we publish this information. And uh, we have the big play button here for this particular listing. Obviously, I didn't get the price right. I need to have changed that. But uh, when you enter in your own listing, you guys will see that. And uh, we have several pictures here and some information on who they can contact. I will tell you that if they click the play button, it will actually bring them to the RealPro website. And uh, so many times somebody will click on that play button, they'll come here, and then if they want to request information, they can fill it out in this box. And uh, when they fill it out, it will actually send an email to the real estate agent and the loan officer, and then it will also, in the back office, um, it will mark it as a lead. So whoever we can go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and click submit. And what this and you can see here it says thank you for the inquiry on my website. This is a confirmation that your email has been delivered. We'll get back to you as soon as time permits. Real estate is active. I may be with a client, so if you need immediate assistance, please call me, and I appreciate your business. So what we would do to finish the Craigslist posting, if we wanted to do that, is we, we would go ahead and uh, click Continue, or we could click this Publish button. I'm not going to do it because this isn't actually a, a listing that I want published on Craigslist. Um, but but that's the process that you go through. So it's pretty simple, and we you know instead of uploading all the images, the HTML we provide you saves you a lot of time, so it makes it really easy to do. Um, I do get a lot of phone calls though when people for, when they post on Craigslist for the first time, they're like, well, my property isn't showing up yet. One thing that you guys need to realize is when you post to Craigslist, it, it does take about 15 to 20 minutes for Craigslist to actually make it active. So it is kind of a delay on their part. They don't publish things right away, so it's not instant. So you know, be a little patient, give it a little bit of time, um, you know, and then it will start showing up in the uh, the Craigslist on the website. But in the, yeah, in the beginning, it doesn't. And I get I get a lot of calls every month. They're like, oh, my Craigslist isn't posted yet. But that's why it, it does take Craigslist, you know, about 15 to 20 minutes to um, get your listing active. So that's pretty easy. And again, we, we get a, the people who post on Craigslist probably get the most different phone calls, especially if you're doing the HUD homes, which I think uh, Scott probably talks about or talked about a lot on the uh, how to make money with RealPro. So advertising Craig or HUD homes on Craigslist is a, is a huge winner for a lot of uh, agents who are looking to drum up some business. So back to the real pro site, there are, there are other options um, that we have under each property as well. So I touched on the Craigslist first, um, but you know this action, this will actually bring you directly to your listing website. So if you just wanted to view the property for this listing, if you click here, 
you can see this will bring us directly to the website. Um, if you want to print the flyer, we can, uh, you know, this will allow you to print the flyer for that property. And here's a, a, a link for an MLS compliant virtual tour. So if you need a, a virtual tour um, that's MLS compliant, you can click on that link right there. And what it does is it strips out all of the information that the MLS won't allow you to post. So you can use that link up there for that. If you'd like to make changes to your property, if you can click edit, and this will allow you to come down here and make changes and upload different pictures. And here's a here's one that I get a lot for, and people don't understand these buttons. So I'd like definitely like to talk about this is uh, the repool prices and statuses. What this does is this. Uh, it has our updater go out and it tries to you know make sure that the property is still active so if for some reason it doesn't look like it's been updated recently um, you know this will allow it to get repulled and it'll go try to update the price and status of the property and then we have the YouTube video and if you want to go see the YouTube video You can click this right here, and this will show you the YouTube for that property. And if you just want to update your YouTube information, so maybe something has changed, but you didn't really update any pictures yet, um, but maybe some data you know, has changed on the property, what you can do is if you click this update YouTube video information, this will update the the text inside the YouTube video. But then if you've added new pictures, um, what you need to do is, is do a request video reset. And you can only do this once every 15 days. Um, but you know, if, if something is not right in your video, maybe it, you know, the, the music didn't, doesn't play all the way through, or if there's anything wrong with it, or if you've just added new pictures, um, you should do the request video reset and this will actually delete the video that we currently have on record for you guys and it will create a totally new one. And then the next feature I'd like to talk about is the open house. So this is the only way to, well, there's two different ways to get to the open house features and uh, this is a feature that not a lot of agents uh, know about yet, um, but it is something that's been in there for a while and if you'd like to basically on your next open house instead of having a sign-in sheet as long as you have internet access, you can use any kind of tablet, whether it be an iPad or a, an Android tablet. And what that this will do is it will allow you guys to let people sign in on your open houses, and it'll collect information for them from them, and um, it'll store it in your back office. So right now, um, you know, if we wanted to use this picture right here to display on the front of our tablet when people sign in we can use this picture and then right now we have these default questions and you know when do you plan to buy do you have a home to sell are you pre-approved for financing and do you like to be notified about any new homes in this price range as they become available these are the questions that we ask by default if you guys have other questions that you would like to add here please just email them to me and uh, we will add these so you can uh, select different questions if you would like. But uh, as a default, if you, if you don't ever ask for any changes, th this is what you get. Um, but if you'd like to have different questions, just please email them to me, and I will have our developers changed in the back office so you can ask different questions. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Start Open House. And what happens here, as you can see, this is what we display and this will be displayed on your tablet. And it's a little stretched out here because it's on my computer screen, but it, it looks really good on a tablet, and then when somebody signs in, they can enter their information. And then their phone number. And then they can click Next. And then, and right now it skipped the questions because we have it set to skip all of the questions. Um, but if we didn't have it set to skip the questions, it would ask the different questions each time or it would allow them to, um, to skip all if they wanted to do that. And then what happens is 
every so now this information that we just collected from the open house sign in sheet goes into your back office. So I'm going to go ahead and go end open house right now. I'm going to log back in and that didn't look like that worked. Let me Must have typed something wrong. Oh, I typed the wrong last name. And we can go down here to the open house contacts. Oh, there we go. Oh, they just pop. And this is the one that we just did right now. And we can see the information that I typed in with my name, my telephone number, and my email address. And then if you'd like to export the, the contacts into a, uh, like an Excel file to put into a contact database or a CRM if you have one, um, you can click this export button if you want to do it for just this open house. And you can export the information. And as you can see here, it will start a download of that file for all the contacts in this open house. Or if you click export up here, this will export every contact that you've ever had for all of your open houses. So there are two different ways. You can export by just the most recent open house, or you can select your open house. Or if you want to export all, you can click this button up here and it'll export all of your contacts into one um, CSV file. So you can use to, like I said, to import all of those listings into your own CRM. The next thing I'd like to talk about for you guys to explain in the back office is the expired listings. Um, so if you enter in your listings manually, what we do is we allow them to be active for 60 days. After 60 days, if you haven't updated it or if you haven't uh, you know, made any changes to that listing, we automatically make it expired because we, we need to make sure that our data is safe or and accurate. Um, because we've had a lot of manual listings that people would never ever change and you know they'd be in there for a year and uh, they had sold a very long time ago. So what we do here is we, uh, we decided to move all listings after 60 days if they haven't had any changes into the expired listings folder. If they're not expired, all you have to do is you have to go in here and you can edit the listing and you can make it active again. Just by doing this. You can do save and make it active again, and it will automatically become active. So it's, it's really easy if it is expired. But if not, you know, or if you just need to make a change, just do that, and we'll give you another 60 days every time you make a change. These, this next folder is, talks about your off-market listings. So if you enter in the listing by MLS ID or if you have a RETS feed, and uh, we find that the property goes pending or sold, we automatically move it off market and it will become in this folder. And so then if you want to take a look at something you had on an old listing, these are all of your older listings and you can uh, come take a look at it here or you can even reactivate it if that's, what you, uh, if that's what you need to do. Maybe it went pending and then something fell through and you need to make it active again, this is exactly where you do it. Um, the next part is the user guide. And uh, basically, if you would like a few tutorials or a few videos on how to um, you know, use the system or how to enter in your first listing, things like that, you can easily do it from here. And we have uh, videos on how to do all of that stuff, including on how to uh, you know, enter in your first Craigslist account. Or if you don't have an account, I believe it talks about how to do that. If you have any support questions, um, basically, you can click the support button, and this will email me and I believe it attaches to Lori as well and you know any support issues that you have you can just click here you can talk about what your problem is and please be as descriptive and as possible if you have any issues here so we can uh, if you have any problems you know so we can regenerate the problem and fix it or uh, you know just try to not just say something isn't working because uh, you know that doesn't help us a whole lot and we need to uh, we need to recreate any problem that you have. So if you could be as descriptive as possible, that's really great. Hopefully you don't have to use that button. But if you do, that's, uh, that's how you do it. And uh, one thing that we, uh, if we noticed, if you guys remember, when I typed in my information on the 
um, the listing. You can see here, um, you know, here's the information. So when I was on this listing here and I typed in my information in the request information box, not only did an email get sent to um, to me as the realtor, but uh, I also collected this information in the back office. So you can see here, here's um, my, you know, I, in the field, request home information. Here's my name, my email address, the phone number, and the listing address that I inquired about and when I did it. So we track all that information, and if you want to export this information as well to your CRM, you can click export all leads, and you can export all the leads into a uh, Excel file. And if you guys didn't like the uh, the message that we uh, that we saw, and I don't know, I don't think it's still there. I think it disappeared. But uh, there was a little message that popped up here after we filled in our information that said, you know, thanks for you know submitting your information. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Here it is. This, so if you wanted to change that message and you wanted to, um, you know, personalize it and make it your own, you're more than welcome to do that. You just go to your auto reply settings and type whatever you would like to type in this box and that's what will start appearing from there on out. And then also any emails that when we send somebody an email, um, you know, after they fill out their information, um, you know, we use the signature here. So if you would like a different signature, um, then what we have pre-filled for you, just change your signature and when we email them letting them know or thanking them again for submitting their information, um, this is the signature we will use in that reply. The next box that uh, I'd like to go over is the syndication options. And we do have a lot of questions about syndication, so hopefully this will help clear it up for some of you guys. Um, first of all, every time we syndicate your properties, we will by default, prepend this to the listing description. And the reason we do that is when you syndicate to websites like Trulia and Zillow and Hotpads, typically they have a lot of other realtors advertisements around your listings, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, you know, because they're selling ad space and there's a great chance that they might end up calling one of those other agents even though it's your listing. What we do here is we, uh, we make sure we prepend your information with your phone number and your contact information directly into the very first line of the description. And what we found is people, um, you know, you're much more likely to get a phone call if your information is there and it's right in front of them because typically they always read the description and uh, they're just much more likely to call you if your information is there. If you would like something different than what we've already, you know, put there for you, you can change it and uh, this will, you know, whatever you want to type in this box, you can. And this is great because your MLSs do not give you this freedom. They, uh, they are very strict on what you can type in your description boxes for your listings um, because they're just very strict about their data because of the way they distribute it and they don't want you to say certain things. This way we give you the freedom to say whatever you want and, uh, you know, you can customize your own message here. If you don't want any add-on text whatsoever, all you would have to do is uncheck this box and click Save, and that will automatically make it so we don't add anything whatsoever to the beginning of your descriptions. And these are the four sites that we syndicate to. And uh, I know a lot of you guys have said, you know what, we, you know, we hear that you guys go to a lot more sites than four, and the answer is yes, we do. But these are the feeds that we actually send out. So we send a feed to Trulia, Zillow, Hotpads, and Oodle. The thing is, is each one of those websites have different partners that they resyndicate their information to, and a lot of them are might be local websites. Um, you know, they might be national news websites. They they could there's a there are hundreds of different websites um, that redistribute data from these four feeds, and uh, so many of them are local. Some of them are national, and uh, I, I think if you we can try to send out an email if you guys if you need to know exactly, we can send you. Um, links that Trulia gives us and Zillow gives us and you know that we get that you can research it on your own but all those websites change on a daily basis and uh, it's very hard to keep track of so the only thing we can really tell you is it does get resyndicated a lot of different times and uh, the, but the only information we can give you is what these feed providers give us because there are instances where you know your property could pop up on a website you know a very local website that we don't even know pops up um, you know they don't tell us but uh, you know, we've had many properties pop up on sm much smaller websites to get feeds from these sources. So it's it's kind of hard to pin down every single one. But so we can only 
know, pass along the information that our feed providers give to us. So moving on, that's uh, the marketing and resource section. Um, right now, this section is pretty scarce. There's not a whole lot in there. In fact, I think we even pulled a couple things that we had in here. Um, right now, I believe we had a marketing flipbook. And it looks like our developers are even changing it as we speak. It was just there right before the listing or right before the webinar. Um, I know Lori and I were going through it. Um, but what we're doing here is we're changing this. And again, they're working on it right now. We have a complete design center. So probably sometime in you know the next week or two, um, this isn't going to say marketing resources anymore. It's going to say design center. And what we've done um, per, per your request is we found a, a lot of agents, you know, they wanted different flyers than what we made for them. You know, they liked our flyer, uh, which our, our flyer looks like this. Our you know general flyer, which uh, it looked pretty nice and pretty good. And you know, but we had agents that wanted to be able to change the colors, or they wanted to uh, to make changes, or they just wanted a different flyer design altogether. Um, so what we did is we went out and we uh, told our developers that we had to create a completely new design center. So it wasn't just going to be a flyer center. Just, um, in this new design center, it will start off with flyers only. Um, so when it first launches, it's going to be just flyers, but down the road, we're going to have flyers, we're going to have postcards, and all kinds of different marketing material that you guys can create. And you guys will be able to press a button, and you can order. If you wanted to order something, you can. If you wanted to download it yourself and send it to your um, person that prints, or if you just wanted to print it off on your own printer, you'll be, you guys will be able to do that. So we're very excited about the Design Center. We've uh, we've taken a lot of features from our Design Center from other paid websites. So we've uh, We've looked at probably half a dozen other pay websites that uh, allow people to create flyers and things like that, and we've implemented what we felt is the best features of those sites um, into our system. So if you guys have any, um, you know, this is where I need feedback from you guys. If you have flyers that you guys love to use, please send them to me because we are uh, we have one guy hired, and that is his only job is to create new flyers. We'd like to build a library of 50 to 100 different flyers for you guys. So if you have flyers that you like to use and you'd like to be able to easily print them from the, uh, the commerce website, please email me those flyers and we will uh, we'll add them. And it takes, you know, we can typically add one about every two days. So um, definitely send them to me because I'm, uh, I'm needing more right now as we speak. And also, um, another thing that we have coming to you guys is, uh, and I know we've talked about it on a few different webinars, um, but right now we've actually we have a design made and we just need to uh, get the signs in. But we have a call capture system, and uh, what our call capture system does is, is it allows you guys to post a sign writer on the top of all of your listing that says, you know, for 24-hour information, you know, call this number, and uh, then they'll enter in their property code and they'll be able to get more information, um, you know, or the whoever's at the sign they'll be able to get more information about that property. And the beauty of our call system is is if somebody tries to block their number, it doesn't matter. We catch everybody's number. Um, because they're calling in to an 800 number, uh, it gives us certain extra features that we typically wouldn't have access to. And uh, you know, we can basically see what number they're calling from, and we can uh, give that to you guys as a lead. So we'll have a different section that will say, Call Capture Leads. And uh, it will basically tell you who was called, what time they called, and uh, what they requested on the call, whether they requested, you know, they wanted the mobile website sent to their smartphone or whether they wanted a flyer or you know if they wanted to be connected with um, somebody about financing there's a button for that they can press a number and it'll, it'll actually automatically call the loan officer um, if they want to be connected to the real estate agent because they have another question they can also do that and they'll press a button and it'll automatically um, you know be sent to the they'll be forwarded to the number that you guys specify so um, you know that's a great feature that we're also very excited about and uh, I hope you guys are too. And like I said, that should be rolling out within the next couple of weeks. We just have to order the signs and get them in, and then we'll um, give you guys access to that. And then the last thing I'd like to talk about in the profile here is uh, website color. So maybe you don't, don't like our default color. You don't like the blue. Um, you know, we allow you guys. You can make. You can easily change the colors of your website. So as you can see here. Um, the website for this property is the, the blue, but if you want to change it because you don't like the blue, maybe you want green or you want uh, you know you want a gray. You can, so I went ahead and selected gray. I'm going to click submit, 
and within seconds, all the properties, I'm going to refresh this, and we, we've changed to gray headers, um, you know, so, you know, if you don't like the blue or you don't think the blue looks good with your, you know, template or your logo, you can always change it to, to make it whatever you want. So that's a that, that's about it. Hopefully, we've described a lot of the features today. Um, you know, there's I'm sure there's several features that I missed that we'll uh, probably be covering in future webinars. Um, but uh, you know, right now I'm kind of open to any questions that you guys might have. So, do we have any questions? Yes, we do. Um, just for everyone's benefit, we have both loan officers and realtors on these webinars. And so I have a loan officer who's asking, I cannot find my agent's active listings on Hotpads or Oodle. I've searched by city and also by street name. Yeah, so sometimes we have found, um, you know, and, and the same thing happens with Zillow and Trulia. Um, if they get conflicting information from another source, sometimes they will uh, choose not to publish that listing. Um, so what we have to do is, you know, if you can't find it somewhere, please go ahead and email me that information. Um, I, I email Zillow and I email Trulia just about every day, um, you know, because there are instances where they get conflicting information whether a property is for sale or not. And uh, because we can't say that we have uh, all of our listings aren't directly from the MLS, so and because all of them aren't, they uh, they give our feed. Sometimes they you know choose to just not publish our feed if they have a conflict. Um, sometimes they go ahead and publish our feed because we give them more information. Um, but uh, you know if, if you can't find it anywhere, then you should definitely send that to me. And what I do is I have to forward that on to their tech support department, and then typically they activate it within uh, 24 to 48 hours. It's uh it's very frustrating to have to do that all the time, but uh, that's. You know, unfortunately, that's just the nature of how the the feeds work. Okay, that that's the only question that we've had typed in, but I would just say, I would just encourage both loan officers and realtors who are um, active on RealPro, if there are questions that come up and you want an immediate answer, if you could email support um, for RealPro, or you can email myself with questions that you'd like to have answers or maybe um, your realtor partners have specific questions that are coming up, we would really like to address the most common ones on the webinars um, so that we can get people up and going as quickly as possible. I was going to say, I don't think I really talked much about the mobile site, um, okay. but we do create a mobile site for every property listing that I just showed everybody here. If you go to the, the property website with a, your smartphone, it will automatically know this. But if you'd like to look at it from your, uh, from your browser, what you do is you just type slash mobile at the end of every, any property website, and you will be able to, uh, to see that. And we actually have, you know, so if somebody wanted to schedule a showing, things like that, or if you want a map or get directions on how to get there, they can do that all from their mobile website. And let's see. And then the very last thing that I I didn't touch on, uh, Lori, but uh, one thing that's in the future, and this is probably not going to be. It, it could be as early as next month in certain areas, uh, but we're also going to give agents, if you guys like, uh, we're going to give you guys the ability to have your own IDX search site, and you're not going to get charged anything extra for it. You know, it, we're going to provide that for free. I know IDX search sites can get fairly expensive in some markets. Um, the only fee that agents could ever incur different is uh, sometimes if your MLS charges you a fee to have an IDX feed, you know you'll have to incur, you know you'll have to pay that fee, but uh, there'll be zero extra fees from uh, from the RealPro website. So if you guys want to have your own IDX search, we have uh, we have several different search templates that we're working on, and uh, as soon as we get uh, you know. The, most, the more requests we get from a certain area, those are the MLSs that we get signed up with first. So I know a lot of agents you know, already pay $40, $50 to $80 a month for their own IDX search sites. What we do is we allow you guys to have your own domains. So if you have your own domain you want to run your search site on, we will do that. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll help run everything for you guys, and uh, it'll be at no extra cost. So I also think that's a huge feature um, you know, that we're going to be launching 
because I know a lot of agents have their own IDX search set, or some of them don't because it, you know it can get fairly expensive, and uh, they don't see the need. But uh, you know, we're you know, that that's a feature I'm probably the most excited about uh, everything that we're doing because I, I know we've had a lot of agents uh, you know give us a lot of great feedback on some of the designs that we've had, and uh, they're pretty excited about it just because it's uh, it's going to be such a low cost compared to um, what they're currently paying. Koi, we did have a question relating to that, and um, the question was, could you define what the IDX search site is? Yeah, an IDX search site is a, uh, a site that, you know, you can send your customers to to search for new homes. And uh, so basically IDX is typically that's the most common um, feed source, or that's the most common way that realtors allow us to have all of the data for every house in your MLS. Um, they could also give us a RETS feed, um, but basically it's it's just a feed from your MLS that allows us to have all of the data for every house that's that's for sale. And so somebody could actually go to a website that you guys define, and you can use the one that we give you, or if you have your own domain that you'd like to buy, we'll help you guys set up your own domain, and uh, and you can have your own IDX search site on it. And like I said, it just it's just a search site that allows everybody to search for current homes that are on the market. After we launch the search sites, um, the next step in the process would be for us to allow what they call saved search. And again, this is probably, you know, this is several months down the road, but after you have your search sites up, that's great, but we're going to allow your customers to have their own portal so you know every time they log in and uh, you, you can actually identify new houses that come on the market that are in their price range or whatever. Um, you know, you can email them when those new properties become available. I know some MLSs offer some features that are very similar to this, but we're going to add in a CRM into the back office as well that allows you to automatically drip email people that sign up. Um, you know, we're going to give you a lot more features than what most typical MLSs offer as far as, um, you know, working with your prospects. Okay, no more questions so far. So that's that's about all I, yep, so pretty pretty quiet bunch today. I hope it's because I did a good job and not I left all you guys confused, but uh, like I said, if you, definitely if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you know, email us, email the support button, and uh, you know, or you can email us directly at support at uh, commercerealpro.com. And uh, we'll both, you know, we'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And that, that support goes for um, loan officers as well as realtors. So any, any questions, we, we try to do our best to, to get those back up. I know uh, if there was a few people that had questions about videos over the weekend, um, you know, just to clear that up, all the videos are working now. They're all up. So we went a couple days without creating videos on new listings. What we did is we, uh, we ended up adding different songs or different music to uh, – you know, in the rotation, so we have a few more uh, music tracks that we added, and when we uh, added those listings, we had to turn it off to add the music, and then we forgot to turn it back on. So once we could, um, realized that, we were able to turn it back on. So all all uh, properties should have videos that were entered in over the weekend if they didn't have them already. Well, uh, if we don't have any more questions, I, I want to thank everybody, uh, for, you know, for attending today. And uh, w you know, we at Commerce Mortgage really appreciate your time. And again, if you have any further questions, just uh, contact your loan officer or us, and uh, we'll we'll do our best to uh, to answer your questions. So that's it. Everybody, have a good day.